Hello everyone, I'm Miranda Bellin and today I'm going to be showing you how to build your Electron application into a package such as like EXE, DMG, etc. If you haven't seen the last episode by the way, check it out in the card right now. Last time we built this application that I'll just launch for you here. So as you can see, um, we built this. Yeah. Anyways, let's jump right in. So you'll need to install an npm package called Electron Packager. This is the package we'll be using in today's episode in order to build our app. All you have to do is um, close the application, press yes, um, then you want to type npm space install space um, electron hyphen packager space hyphen g press enter. This will install the package we need today. What's G for, you may ask? Oh, it stands for global, which will install the package so you can use it everywhere. What does that mean? It basically allows us to use it in the terminal, just like we can for Electron, as we did in the last episode. Anyway, once the install is done, we can start packaging. So, navigate to the folder where your code from the last episode is, and open a new command prompt window in that folder. On Linux, you can just open a terminal and navigate to the folder using CD. Let me just copy paste the example here from um, the GitHub repository. Let me explain everything here. So um, first of all, this is of course Electron Packager. Source directory is basically where well, it's the sort. I think you can figure it out for yourself the source directory. So all you have to do is, since we're in the same folder, we just put dot for that. Um, for the app name, you can call it whatever your app name is. I'm going to call it tutorial app, of course. Um, the platform, you can choose whatever platform you want. Um, I'll be showing you a little command in the optional commands later, but for now I'm going to put Win64 for Windows 64 bit. Architecture, um, the architecture is basically if it's right to better. Actually no, it's win. It's just win. Um, and the architecture here is basically just like, well if it's, it's 32 bit or 64 bit, so what you do here is put x64, right? Okay, yep, I'm right. So if you want 64 bit, you put x64. If you want 32 bit, you put ia32. Yep, and if you want arm, you put R ram v71. I'm just going to build for 64 bits, so x64 will do. And optional flags will go over it in a minute. <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> Alright, now we can press enter and wait for it to build our app. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. It, it, it's actually Win32. As you can see here, it says packaging app for platform Win32 x64 using Electron version 1. All right, everyone, we have successfully got it here. So what it'll do by default is put it in here. So, and there you go. You can run it like any other executable. Um, interestingly, when you build it this way, the menu bar disappears. Like, I didn't actually set that, that's kind of weird. Hmm, oh well. Um, as you can see, it works just like it did in the previous version. Anyways, um, yeah, there you go. Um, let's go over the um, other options you can add. I'm only going to cover a few um, that, are f that are from all platforms, you know? The ones that are most interesting and useful. Huh. First one I'm going to be talking about here is the all thing. That's what I was talking about earlier, where instead of putting this platform in Arch, you can literally just replace them with dash all and it will build for everything. So, um, yeah, that's that's really useful if you want to build for every platform. Um, the the ASAR command, ASR, is, is basically to package your source code to basically make it, basically make it like, you know, to package it so that people can't use your code because right now all you have to do is go into resources, app, and as you can see there's, there's your code right there for anyone to see, so. If you don't want that, you can use the dash ASR command and um, it will package it into something like this. So, um, yeah, that's just in case, like, you want to do that. Um, icon, you can actually, like, set an icon for this. Alright, so say we wanted to use this as our little icon, uh, and then we can put quotes plus one dot PNG. Hopefully that's how you do it. Let's use those few that I explained, and let's try compiling again. Okay, so if we've already built it, we can use dash dash overwrite 
to overwrite it. Um, I forgot to cover that. Anyways, let's press enter and um, see what happens. All right, everyone, we are finally back. And as you can see, it is built for all of these things. Uh, Iconfig only works in certain um, things like Linux or, or Mac and something like that. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's compiled into a .as .asar file. Yeah, I think that'll end off the episode for today. Um, be sure to subscribe because next Tuesday we will be going over um, some more kind of advanced like electron stuff. Um, anyways, um, be sure to subscribe, turn on that bell, and um, follow me on um, other platforms such as Vidme, Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter. Anyways, see ya. Bye. Bye, mommy fan. What's your BBM pin? <laughs>